Yo, 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 it's your boy E-Double back with another video. Um, and in this one, we'll be doing a three-week review of the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X Duo. Um, like I told y'all about three weeks ago when I did my unboxing of the uh, Apollo Twin X Duo in the Neumann TLM 103. Um, once I got my hands on them and uh, played around um, a little bit, I was going to give you all a review. Um, originally, I was going to do the mic and the interface together in a review. But the more I thought about it, I thought it was better to kind of uh, split them out into two separate videos. Because when people are searching on YouTube, they're not necessarily looking for this combo. They may just be looking for the mic or they may just be looking for the interface. So I thought that would be more beneficial. But um, yeah, it's been about three weeks. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, give you all my my views and, you know, my likes and dislikes. Um, for those of y'all returning to the channel and are part of Team Double Up, my subscribers, I greatly appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support. For anybody new to the channel, if you like the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, there's ton of dope content coming. And, uh, you know, if you go through some of my previous videos, I'm sure you'll, you'll find something that you like. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So first thing first, um, when I was looking for a new interface, um, I looked at the Universal Audio um, Apollo Twin MK2. Um, Sweetwater had a really good deal that came with a mic stand, um, the interface, um, in the mic the uh tlm 103 um but after doing a little bit more research i realized that the the twin mk2 was the older interface and it wasn't the newer one it has thunderbolt 2 it doesn't have thunderbolt 3 and um i wanted to get the newer interface and they were pretty close in price if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i can't remember the exact price but uh so yeah so i actually ordered both and then just denied the shipment on the MK2 and actually didn't do the bundle because I didn't really need the mic stand. I think it came with like a pop filter um, that I didn't need and uh, a few other things. So, yeah. So um, I also looked at the Apogee Symphony desktop. Um, the only reason I looked at that one is because all of the reviews um, that I seen about the uh, the Apollo Twin X Duo or the Apollo Twin X uh, seemed to favor Mac, uh, they worked better on Mac and didn't really work as well on Windows. Um, people kind of ran into numerous issues with the Thunderbolt, um, with Thunderbolt either working or not working. Um, some people had to buy, um, you know, additional PCIe cards or PCI cards to plug into their motherboard to get a Thunderbolt port because a lot of Windows computers don't come with them. So I did a lot of research and, you know, it advertises on their website that it does work with Windows. So, uh, you know, I looked, I looked and I looked and it seemed like the Windows users that were having issues were computers that didn't have a Thunderbolt port um, built into the actual motherboard. And they were using like aftermarket, um, you know, PCI cards and on their motherboard. And those seem to be the people that were having the most issues. Um, I built a computer a few years ago. Um, I have the uh, Prime, uh, the Asus Prime X299 Deluxe 2. Uh, that's a fucking mouthful. But uh, I have that motherboard and it has a couple Thunderbolt 3 ports built onto the motherboard. And as soon as I plugged the interface in, like it worked, no problem. It recognized it and, you know, it was no problem. So um, if you're in the market and you have a computer that has uh, or, or a Windows computer that has a built in Thunderbolt 3 port, I think you'll be perfectly fine. Um, obviously, I only can vouch for the Asus motherboard, and I'm pretty sure all of their other motherboards that have Thunderbolt 3 ports would work. But uh, if you don't, then you may want to play it safe and just get the USB version or, you know, you always could buy it, you know, get a card, try it out. And if it doesn't work, just return it and all that. But um, like I said, definitely works on Asus um, Thunderbolt. Uh, a asus motherboard that has a thunderbolt 3 port built onto the motherboard so that definitely worked the my previous interface that i had was the first generation scarlet 6i6 um it was really overkill i didn't need all those ports um i really could have got by with a 2i2 but um you know it served its purpose it was nice um i had those hooked into uh my blue it's actually this mic right here uh, the blue bluebird mic 
Um, I, I think it's, this is Gen One. This this mic is is um, I don't know, maybe around like seven years old, something like that. Uh, what well, I was when it was released, I bought it maybe five years ago. But um, I had the um, the mic plugged into that Scarlet, and then I also have two um, KRK Rocket Six speakers um, plugged into it as well. One of the things right out the gate that I realized was my speaker output on the Apollo Twin X Duo was like t at least double on the Scarlet um, 6i6. I would literally have to turn the, the gain knob like all the way up for it to really hit like I wanted. Um, with the Apollo Twin X, I only turned it about t about a quarter of that. And it's hitting harder than the, the Scarlet turn damn near all the way up. Like at this point, I don't even know if I can turn the Apollo 20X all the way up without maybe like blowing my speakers or it being like loud as hell. <laughs> but uh, right away. So you can just tell the quality of the interfaces is outputting like a lot more power uh, to the speakers. And also um, this blue, uh, this Bluebird mic. It, it sounds a little sharper. Uh, now, that could be placebo. I didn't run like a side by side test with the two, um, which if that's something that you guys want to see, let me know. I'll be more than willing to do that. But uh, when I play back the audio and I listen to it and when I'm like recording these videos, um, it definitely sounds like like sharper and a little more crisp. And there's there's not as much noise. Sound floor seems to to be better. Like I don't. So I'm assuming that the Scarlet, um, the, the interface itself the interface itself was making some of that noise and it actually wasn't coming from the mic so now back to the interface um i haven't really had any issues so um there has been some popping um when playing back audio and um uh, with like doing my research and trying to figure out what that may be um basically the built-in uh wdm drivers for windows uh aren't the greatest i'll, I'll just to, to put it lightly um the ico drivers are a lot better now i did download ico drivers for my scarlet um but it, it seems like there may be like some newer ico drivers that i may need to install i haven't downloaded them yet because the popping is very infrequent it doesn't happen like all the time and it doesn't actually affect like the recording or anything like when i'm recording um like you don't you don't get any pop and it's only like when i'm playing back audio so if i'm watching like a youtube video or uh playing back music in pro tools or something like that like you may hear like a little popping or like little little cracks or something like that but like when i bounce the audio or um you know or when i'm recording there's, there's nothing in the recorded audio um or you know when i bounce the track and play it back um outside of you know windows there's no cracking so it, it just seems to happen um uh, like I, I don't know i don't know what's causing it but um yeah, it's it's not that big of a deal. Now, uh, something else that I really like about the Apollo Twin X is the optical digital um, port it has on the back. So I have a TV in my studio that I use as like a third monitor. But then sometimes I also just like watch TV on it while I'm doing certain things. And before I would have like the with my Scarlet, it didn't have an optical digital uh, port on the back. Uh, so I just would ha have the sound coming from the TV itself. Um, with the Apollo Twin X Duo, I'm actually able to plug the TV into the interface um, with the optical digital and I can play the, the sound from the TV through the speakers, which you guys may not even care about that, but like that's something that I like wanted um, and it's like super cool. So I, I really enjoy that. Um, the Neumann TLM 103 sounds amazing on this interface. I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna do a completely separate video about the Neumann and a review on that but uh it's it's amazing it sounds like really really good now one of the main reasons that people buy this interface is for the like unison plugins right and um i'll just say this right out right out the gate the preamps the ua what is it the ua 610a and the ua 610b like both of those preamps are like amazing it, I, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's kind of like a warmth or like, a just, it just sounds really, really good. And they're both different. I think B may be like a little warmer if I'm not mistaken. It's like a, uh, it's a British, 
sort of sounding preamp and the um, 610A is more kind of like an American like pop sound. But uh, both of them are like really, really good. I'm still kind of getting the hang of it because um, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, I'm not an engineer. I'm an artist. So I really just record my vocals and then I send that to my engineer. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely trying to get better at, you know, capturing better audio for him to mix and master. And um, so I, I may, you know, start applying some of these uh, plugins to my vocals and, you know, let him do, you know, more of the, the dirty work with the mixing and with, the, you know, reverb and, you know, whatever the hell else he does. But um, the, the unison plugins that I have played with so far are like really, really good and amazing. So really. This Apollo Twin X Duo is way better than the Scarlett 6i6. If you're in the market for the Apollo Twin X Duo and you're coming from a Scarlett, like don't hesitate anymore. Go ahead and buy it. You will love it. It will make your existing equipment sound better. Your speakers are going to sound better. Your mic is going to sound better. And um, it's just a badass interface. It like looks really nice and it performs well. Now, if you're on Windows, the only um the only warning i guess i can give you is if you're doing a lot of things besides recording audio into a daw so like if you're doing a lot of uh you know screen capturing or blogging or uh, uh i guess vlogging or something like that or podcasts where you need to feed that audio into different applications that seems to be where people run into issues um there seems to be like a lot of workarounds but i know sometimes people just want the shit to work so like dealing with you know, downloading this and downloading this and all this troubleshooting, you know, that may be a turn off for some. But um, if you're mainly recording to a DAW, you just use the interface for uh, recording, um, you know, audio and, you know, playing back audio, like listening to music, watching videos on YouTube. I haven't had any issues at all. Now, I, you know, mentioned the popping that I get, um, you know, when playing back audio sometimes, um, which so I will be updating to the ICO drivers. But um that that's the only really complaint that I have. There's like no other complaints. The interface has been amazing and you know, I'm excited every time I go to use it. So in summary, um, I love it. I love the interface. It was well worth the money, well worth the investment. Um, I'm happy my engineer recommended universal audio. Uh, honestly, I hadn't really heard of them. And um, I'm like, I mentioned a million times, I'm not an engineer. So, you know, when it comes to certain audio equipment, like that's really not my thing. I'm big into tech, you know, computers and other kind of technology, but I'm happy he put it on my radi uh, radar. I did my research and, you know, I'm happy I, I bought it. Um, I definitely will be sticking around with it. I will not be getting the universal uh, or the I'm sorry, I won't be getting the Apogee Symphony desktop because this fulfills all my needs It's cheaper and the plugins are amazing. So, again, if you're in the market looking for uh, an audio interface and you currently have a Scarlet or something similar and you're kind of hesitant on whether you think it'll be worth it or not, I can tell you right now, hands down, it's definitely worth it. So upgrade your interface. So with that being said, uh, I really don't have anything else to share. Um, again, stay tuned for the review of my um, Neumann TLM 103 mic. If you guys have any questions about this interface that I did not cover, um, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. And I can do, you know, like a little more in-depth review. This was really just a quick touch base on my thoughts and opinions of it after, you know, working with it for three weeks. Um, you know, I still got to run it through its paces and do some more things. But uh, yeah, I love it. So it's your boy E-Double checking out. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, I holler at y'all. Deuces.